Rodog, a CLI assistant that responds by generating and auto-executing a Python script. This is a new GitHub repository that seems to me kind of similar to Open Interpreter. I haven't played with it a lot in order to determine what are the pros and cons of playing with Rodog <coughs> in opposing to Open Interpreter. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of, of Open Interpreter. At the time being, Open Interpreter, in my opinion, is the most powerful uh, agent or AI solution out there because it allows you to interact with your files locally and it generates uh, code and execute code in the CLI. So you don't have to go back and forth with the code that you generated with Python in ChatGPT or whatever. So usually in the last few days, I didn't upload many videos about new frameworks or new repositories, but it seems to me like Rodog might have a lot of potential. And I also <clears throat> really like the name. If you guys don't know the, the slang definition of what is raw dogging, so I suggest that you take a look in Urban Dictionary. If you guys don't know Urban Dictionary, so I highly recommend that you check out Urban Dictionary. It's a very funny website. And the definition for raw dog is uh, pretty interesting. Anyway, this is going to be a short video. And when I say short, I mean it in opposing to other videos that I uploaded and I said they are going to be short and ended up being pretty long. So basically the raw dog stands for recursive augmentation with deterministic output, output generation. I think that uh, the creator of the repository just wanted to hit this acronym. So he came up with the, this definition, but I might be wrong. Anyway, Roto, Rodog can self-detect context by running scripts to print things, adding the output to the conversation, and then calling itself again. Now, the installation of Rodog is very straightforward. You just hit pip install Rodog AI, and you have it. I already installed Rodog on my command line, via my command line. After you do the pip install Rodog AI, you just add the OpenAI API keys, if you're running on Windows, it's going to be set, open API key, and then you just copy your API keys from open AI. If you're on Linux or Mac, you do, instead of set, you hit the export button, you hit a uh, raw dog, and you can start a conversation with raw dog, which basically is supposed to be able to uh, scan files locally, generate Python code, and based on the context, just recall himself until he spits out the correct output based uh, based to his based on his understanding. So I created just a few examples. I wrote down just a few examples. First one is we are going to ask Rodog to merge these three um, Excel files. The Excel files at the moment have look like this. Let me see. So test one, test two, and test three. They are all similar. The only difference is I added in the Excel, in test number one, we have Joe number one and Doe number one. In Excel number two, we have Joe number two, Doe number two, and in Excel number three, we have John three and Doe three. This is just for the sake of example, but if it is able to do the merging, this could be very powerful when you, ha when you have larger Excel files. Instead of uh, merging manually or going to like a website that allows you to merge, we can use this. Let's paste this, merge these files. Files were merged and saved as merge test xlsx. Now we're expecting to have one file that contains John 1, John 2, and John 3. 
and as you can see this was executed now let's do another use case analyze the content of this file which is the outreach file from yesterday from yesterday's video i don't know if you guys remember um or if you guys watched because you might be new here but let me show you um this file and its content and then we will see what Roda, what, what road dog retrieves and what is his, his analysis of this file so this file contains of prospects and their facebook description so vincent daniel and john vincent claims that he's a master of marketing arts daniel claims that he's a digital dynamo at your service etc and john also has some weird claims regarding his abilities to be a great marketer let's close this and let's see what Rodogs spits out this is the command I've played a bit with Rodog. Uh, I'm still not sure what is the difference between Rodog and Open Interpreter. Based on what they are claiming, the difference is the fact that it is able to recursively pull, uh, like generate script, execute the script, and based on the output, it knows if it should execute again. So it's supposed to be as it, as it claims to be a re, some sort of a recursive in which it analyzes what it does and analyzes the output and keeps on working based on this now let's see the response the file excel crew ai outreach appears to be a record of prospects for outreach here's a quick summary based on the first few entries prospect name this column contains the name of prospect such as vincent daniel and john Prospect description. This column provides descriptions about the prospects, possibly high, highlighting their skills and experience. For example, one of the descriptions mentions master of marketing arts, conductor of creativity, etc. And the third column, which is blank at the moment um, and called uh, personalized outreach, this column appears to be intended for personal message for outreach, but it's currently empty. This is great. I love it. It's actually, it's actually, it actually surprised me. I expected less. Now we have more simple stuff that we can do. Analyzing how many files, how many MP4s do I have in folder in the F folder? You have 54 MP4 files in F folder. I don't think we need to validate this. This is pretty obvious I'm assuming this is correct because it executed this so nicely so I'm assuming that such a simple task was executed correctly now the last task for this video is find the readme file of this repository and tell me how to install Crew AI so this can be very useful if we uh, git clone a repository and we are not sure how exactly to install the repository possibly Rodog can assist us Wait a second. Now let's see what it does. In the more in in the meantime, let me open this repository and let's see how does the readme file look like. So we have the readme file over here. You guys probably know the readme file uh, of QAI. It's covering exactly how to install Crew AI, the differences between Crew AI and Autogen and ChatDev, all the contributors, how to install dependencies, what is Crew AI, etc. Now let's see what the draw dog create. No installation instructions found in README. What did you find in the README file? I found that there are no specific installation instructions for Crew AI in the README file in the repository. 
I don't think this is correct. Let me see. Yes, this is incorrect. Let's see. Let's let's kind of guide him more. I don't think this is working so well. No getting started section found in readme. Did you go to the correct file? Please scan the whole repo and tell me if you can find any readme files. Let's, let's offer it a bit more guidance. So let's start to conclude. I just wanted to share with you this video because I think, okay, here we go. Did find these three repositories. So scan this file and tell me what are the installation steps. So I was uh, starting to say that uh, I think these CLI tools can be very promising. At the moment, I don't think that RawDog is better than Open Interpreter, although I didn't play with it uh, so much. An Open Interpreter is way more established. It has a big Discord channel, a lot of contributors. Um, I'm going to double down on Open Interpreter. You guys know that I'm doubling down. I mean, I'm putting my chips on Open Interpreter, Autogen, and Crew AI. These are the, like the frameworks that I'm covering and I'm focusing on. I'm trying to develop on and build on. And I'm also very like um, keeping myself informed about what's happening in these three big projects. But it's always interesting for me to see uh, new and upcoming projects. I thought that Rodog might be interesting. I'm not determining that it isn't, but obviously we need to figure out how to use it um, and leverage its abilities. One thing to note, I really love the name and I encourage you guys, I wouldn't say really love the name, but I, it's, it's kind of funny. And I encourage you guys to take a look in Urban Dictionary and look for the definition of raw dog. <laughs> I find Urban Dictionary and the Urban Di Dictionary definitions pretty funny. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave your feedback below or like and subscribe obviously um, tomorrow or at least in the upcoming days i'm going to uh, upload longer videos regarding how we can leverage rpa specifically microsoft power automate desktop in our automations combining rpa with agentic frameworks and i'm also going to share with you a few interesting stuff that i've built using autogen so stay tuned and until next time, keep on automating.